I think we were about to go to work. We have our hats on indoors. That's a no-go. Why, why did we do this? Yeah, I was a specialist. She was a PFC then. What is happening, guys? Art Chisel here. First of all, if you like this shirt, give this video a thumbs up. This is Floor's idea. If you see it, it's all Mario characters because she likes Mario and she has a gaming channel or we have a gaming channel, but she's pretty much in charge of it. If you want to check it out, links will be somewhere here. Bam, screenshot or somewhere down below in the description box. Make sure you're subscribed and tell Floor that I sent you over there because she's the one who's pretty much managing that channel. For today's video, since I talk about tips, tricks, what not to do, answering questions all the time about the military, the army and my life as a US Army soldier, I feel like I should kind of change it up a little bit. So today's video is going to be the life of a US Army soldier in photos or in pictures because I just went through my computer, my laptop, my other hard drive and I accumulated some pictures from our last duty station when we were in Germany, when Flor was still in the army, during our off time, during my days as a PFC specialist, random stuff or even like stuff before the army. I got like a lot of pictures like right in front of me right now. So what we're going to be doing is going through the slideshow and me talking about the story behind the picture so it's kind of me like narrating what's the story behind the picture and hopefully it gives you an idea about the life of a US Army soldier because that's what this channel is about right in the first place me vlogging and talking about it to share my experiences to you and give you some knowledge and tips on how it went for me also keep in mind the photos are not in chronological order so I'll be going back and forth or whatever but it's really interesting since a lot of you guys are commenting how is the family life being in the army? How is it like being dual military, meaning both me and Floor being in active duty at the same time? You're both specialists at the same time, PFCs at the same time. How is it when you're overseas on a mission or some, some sort of deployment? How's schooling? How's college? And basically getting ready what I did. So here we go. Without further ado, we're going to go through the slideshow and hope you like it. Okay, let's start with this photo right here. This one is a picture of Ileana when she was about two, I guess. I went to the store, to the PX, to the clothing and sales and thought, I think I should buy her some APFT uniform. And I think I just got promoted to specialist. That's why she has a specialist rank and this is our old housing in Germany I think on the left side there you can see some TA50 I think that's a I think that's a duffel bag or a sleeping bag and I think that's a canteen but it makes me want to go take Iliana for a run because she looks like she can do a 300 plus on the PT <laughs> that's floor right there next video this is my this is pretty recent this is the diploma or certificate, not a diploma. This is the certificate that I got from Excelsior College because I did online classes while on active duty when I just got back from Kuwait. This is somewhere around uh, late 2015. So I got an associates in science and liberal arts. Up until now, I don't really know what I want to do in my life. That's why I guess I'm still in the army, but you know, just get that knocked out and then I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do in the next step. This is me during the 26.2 miles Bataan death march. It started like four the morning and ended like noontime uh, almost eight hours or eight hours something and change so yeah clearly you can see my face I'm not motivated at all I'm just like tired and hating my life and the rock that I was carrying I think it was about 40 to 45 pounds with weights and whatever I got boots TA 50 yep that was in Kuwait and uh, got a good photo it's pretty cool this is the unit not really unit shirt but section shirt because I worked in the ER and so we always send them to the TMC because if you got no emergency go to the TMC that's why we came up with that shirt the baton death march super early you gotta have your PT belt everyone got their numbers and whatnot this picture was from a mass casualty training when again when we were in Kuwait the roll three hospital this is in the trauma room so me over there working with a bunch of doctors and nurses and uh, you know, it was pretty interesting pretty fun you know, we learned a lot. Oh, this is me on duty while in the ER. I'm not really happy. I'm just smiling because I was taking a picture for Flor or just for personal purposes. And now I'm putting it on YouTube. This is me when I was in Germany, I guess like 2014, I'd say before PCSing, NCO induction ball. NCO induction ceremony, not ball. So basically Sergeant Major welcoming us to the NCO core. So that's me. It's pretty funny because if you can see my pants, I think I pulled it up too high, that's why it looks so short. But that's me. More Rook March pictures. I guess I'm happy in this one. Wearing the IR flag. 
This one was when we were in Austria, I believe, or Czech. I saw a Filipino store. Fresh juice, water, and uh, boba tea, bubble tea. You can see that drawing on the right side. And Pinoy, Taste of Asia, restaurant, store, whatever. I spelled Filipino wrong, but yeah. This is in Czech. This is one of those castles or buildings. I took a picture. I don't know why I was wearing sweatpants, but it was actually burning. That guy right there is pretty badass. He stood in attention, not flinching, not doing anything for like a long time, almost hours. They do switches, they do rotations, but that guy is a beast. That guy is a beast. This is me and Flor. Uh, she was already out during this time and um, my first and last military ball. I kind of gained weight during this time. And yeah, don't have all my ribbons at this point. Yep, that's that. This is Eliana Skyping her when I was overseas away from her. So she was happy. And took a screen cap of it. Pretty good. Fun times. After the Bruck March, she gotta air it out, elevate the legs. Too many uh, blisters. This is me uh, back in Germany again. Just I don't know why I was so angry. I guess I didn't really want to take a picture or I wanted to look tough, I don't know. But that's the housing, that's the backyard of the housing in Germany. Pretty great grass. I wish I can go back there because here in Texas, where I'm at, grass is really bad. But again, this is one of our medics teaching uh, one of the artillery guys how to do CLS on a dummy in our little fake um, trauma lanes, whatever. This is me when I was a specialist trying to go to the board, I believe, or prepping for the board. That's why I'm standing in attention and just took a picture of it. Fun times. This is one... This is in Fort Hood. This was shot in Fort Hood. This is in the Mystic site. Uh, medic training. Snap, snapped a picture of a dummy trying to do table eights. Basically moving the casualty and making sure he's loaded in the spine board, you know, validation skills. This is Floor in Germany when she was in, uh, we were in Neuschwanstein New Castle, you know, just a little trip on leave. This is me during the baby shower. Yeah, I look a lot skinny in this one. And I was drinking from a baby bottle that's filled with beer because I think it was a contest. And you can see there's a lot of gifts and stuff everywhere. This is me when I first met Ileana. No, this is the second time we met. The second time we met, me and Ileana. Damn, went by fast. This is me when I was still a PFC, just trying on my ASUs and Flora was still in, but I think she was naked. Ileana, clearly not having fun. She doesn't like photos. This is our friend's cat. He's an asshole. Or she's an asshole. I think it's a girl. I forgot. This is clearly not poop, but it looks like poop, but it's from the baby shower. And uh, it was a game. I think, try to guess what type of chocolate it was, because they try to mush it and make it look like it's poop, but it's Snickers, Butterfinger, or whatever it may be. This is us when we were in Germany, Garmisch. As you can see, Ileana's like really small. I think she's like less than a year old in this one. Pretty cool, cool paintings everywhere. This is me when I was a PFC covering a land nav training and I was the medic on duty and it was snowing in Germany sucked cold as hell and uh, I'll do it all over again if I have to this is the tent that we set up it was just a drash tent so it was just a pop-up so it's easy on these park my FLA well I was a driver and I had a TC my senior medic fun times we stayed out there for two days I guess or three cold as hell this is one of the zoos when we were in Germany, still. I think this was Nuremberg Zoo and uh, checking out some penguins. This is me checking out the goats, same zoo. This is me somewhere close Garmisch and uh, but I think they did the Winter Olympics here. I forgot what this place was called but Hitler was there during that time when they held the Winter Olympics. It was one of those historical places, you know, like a lot of history that happened in it. And uh, yep, that little stuffed toy looking thing is Iliana. She was a baby, she was cold, so she had to wear the suit. This was me with the artillery guys. Uh, my first battery, Bravo battery. 
they welcomed me really well after a field training exercise. We had to uh, drag each other in the mud and uh, you know just welcoming each other. This was the first time I did a MASCAL exercise training as the senior medic because it was just me and my NCO and for the training exercise she was considered not in place so it was just me who was in charge of treating everyone and it was really dark that's why I have NVGs and I just think they turned on the lights later on but I don't know why I have so much not so much why, why do I have two scissors but I, I'm pretty sure I did a tourniquet on this guy just tying him up securing him in a pressure bandage his left arm this was during a um, Volksfest somewhere in Germany Grafenvier hanging out with the German Dark Vader and the Stormtroopers first time Iliana and Flor met not gonna lie that's that me and Flor having our uh, ACUs on I think we were about to go to work we have our hats on indoors, that's a no-go. Why, why did we do this? Yeah, I was a specialist, she was a PFC then. This was from my barracks room when it was snowing in Germany. It was really bad, but we still had to go to work and be at the motor pod that time. I remember taking that photo. This was a castle somewhere in Nuremberg. This was a stolen shot. We were supposed to smile and look at the camera, but she kissed me and we were still dating. I don't think we were, we were married yet during this time. Frankfurt Airport. The first time I arrived in Germany, we got held over at the airport and wasn't picked up by our sponsors till the next day, so it was me venturing on. Really nervous and I didn't know what to do. So I just snapped a photo of the first thing I saw outside in the window. Me and my brother, I don't know why he's wearing chanclas on this one. <laughs> but yeah, this was before I was about to ship, I think. Yeah to my actual duty station because I take I yeah I don't really remember but this was me before I left that's why we took a picture together in ECUs but I had my boots on I don't know why he didn't have his boots on this was me in the barracks thinking I was cool hanging out my dog tags don't do that guys and you can see those keys those are the keys for my duffel bags and my locker still had my HCC Evo then Food from Slagles. If you did AIT as a medic, uh, 68 whiskey, somewhere before, I think 2011 and later, we used to go to Slagles. That's the regular breakfast. A lot of cockroaches. It wasn't really the best, but I was satisfied eating over there. No issues. I uh, took a picture of my first unit patch to CR Germany. Airport. This is the airport going to Germany. Yep, there's some people going to deploy and there's some people like us getting stationed over there. So I was really scared or nervous, didn't know what to do. Military flight right there. Oh, my battle buddy during AIT, he was really drunk. Yeah, so this was him hungover. After formation on a weekend, just went back to sleep, didn't even eat or anything. This is me after a PT test, my first few PT tests in my first unit. I was dying. just. Took a screen cap capture from um, my iMac or my MacBook. I look weird as hell. This was from the uh, training ex not training exercise. This was from AIT. Whiskey face. We pretended that we were in a battalion aid station. So a lot of trauma training, all that stuff. This was me photobombing a buddy from AIT because he fell asleep and I just felt like doing it. And I really have an ugly haircut. Me in Germany, somewhere in Nuremberg, downtown. My view of uh, my unit from my barracks room when I was still single. This was summertime. That was the sand pit. I don't know what they were trying to do. I think this was a volleyball court once. And that's the motor pool and smart water. This was me photoshopped by my good buddy Marquez. He made me look like Lady Gaga. Good guy. Me and AIT having fun on phase five, pretending I'm a Texan. Hate the laundry rooms in AIT. It's always packed, man. Buddies from AIT and basic training, group pick. Partying with some of the buddies in AIT, group pick. 
doing the Y squat. Me and Flor on phase five after whiskey phase were about to graduate and we were like tan as hell. I look really good then, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Our first photo, she didn't like me at that point. She was annoyed at me and I was like, hell no, I'm gonna hang out with you. Cheesecake Factory, I think that's where we took that. Uh, not so organized, try to fix my thing. This was in AIT. More party photos. Basic training photo, there you go. This is from uh, the Six Day Whiskey Museum in Fort Sam Houston. This was me attempting to fix my locker in uh, whiskey training. It's not really the greatest, but I tried to organize it. I think this was on a weekend. Last photo, this was from basic training. This was Fort Jackson. A lot of good memories in those pits. So there you guys have it. Let me know, you guys, if you like this little thing that I'm going, you know, this thing that I'm doing. It's just Life of a US Army Soldier in photos because I have a ton of photos that I want to share. And uh, there's really a lot more behind these photos, but I'm trying to like skip through it and tell you like what my experience was or what it was. Or maybe talk about it more. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see more of this, if you do, because I think it's, this video is kind of long. But thank you guys for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe and check out the links down below. Arches out.